hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel so today we're going to be learning how to make a scrunchy headband just like the one you saw in the thumbnail so if that's something you're interested in please keep on watching this tutorial is going to be very short and very simple so the measurement i have from left to right of this satin fabric is 25 inches so measurement i have from up to down is 5 inches so this is what i'm going to be working with so guys now as you can see i'm turning it over to the front side of the fabric which is the shining part of this satin fabric and i'm just going to fold it up like this making sure that both points are meeting each other and they are equal so i'll use my chalk to come down from this top part by one inch right here and on this other side i would come up by one inch as well so after making those points with my chalk i'm just going to go over to my sewing machine and from this point now i'm going to run a straight stitch all the way down to this other end and i'm going to be making use of half of an inch and so on the point where i'm going to be starting from out make sure my stitch is very tight on that point okay so now that i'm done making my stitch this is what it looks like and so the next thing i'm going to do now is to just turn it over to the right side So now after turning it, this is what it looks like. So what I'm just going to do is to get both ends together. And so on this part right here, I'll get the other one and I'll place both of them together. So as you can see, the both of them, they are meeting each other and I'm using my pin to pin it up on this point right here. So what I'm just going to do now is to go over to my sewing machine and then I'll stitch it up like this, making use of half of an inch till I've gotten to the other end of this point right here. So after I was done stitching it up, this is what it looks like as you can see. So now I'm just going to pull it up like this so that the rough part goes inside just like this. And so as you can see, I have excess thread right here. I'll just make use of my scissors to cut them all out. So guys, now that I'm done, I have this hole right here and we're going to pass an elastic through that hole. And so now it's time to work with the elastic. So now this is the small elastic that I'm going to be working with. And I have um seven and a half of an inch as the length of the elastic. So now what I'm just going to do now is to make use of my safety pin. And then I'm going to use it to clip it on one side of the elastic just like this. So guys, next thing I want to now is to get my satin piece and I'm going to be passing my elastic through that hole which you already created. And you have to be very careful so that this elastic doesn't go in. And so while you are holding it on the other end, you're going to be passing it through that side right there. So now when you've gotten to this point now, you're just going to make use of your pin to pin it up on the satin fabric. You're going to be pinning the elastic to your satin fabric just like I did. And so after you're done with that, now you're just going to pass it all through till you've gotten to the other end of the hole. So guys, now that my elastic is out of the hole, what I'm just going to do now is to take off my safety pin and then I'll take out my office pin which I used to hold the other points of the elastic and then I'm going to be tying my elastic up like this. You can use your sewing machine to stitch it up but I think I prefer tying. So I'm just going to tie it up like three times so that it doesn't lose. So just watch as I tie it up properly. Alright, so now that I'm done tying it up, you can see it looks very firm and that's the essence of pulling it up like that. So on this point where we have this hole now, just go over to my sewing machine and then I'll stitch it up very close to the end of this fabric right here. I'm going to stitch it up very neatly so that it comes out very neat as well. So guys, I'm done stitching it up and I'm also taking out the excess thread that I have after I was done stitching. And you can see the stitch looks very neat and almost invisible. And this is what it looks like after I was done. So I also went ahead to make extra tool for myself. And you can see the scrunchy band looks very easy and very beautiful. So I hope you found this video very helpful guys because we've come to the end of this tutorial video. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you've not subscribed, please like this video, share. If you have any comments, you can leave it in the comment section i'll be there to answer your questions and i'll see you all in my next video bye